Angel is saying to you, Dear God, my heart is filled with gratitude today because of your goodness and faithfulness. Thank you so much for all the blessings and miracles that I have experienced throughout the year. You are the only reason why I am still breathing today. Lord, please fill my family with joy and courage. This I pray in the loving name of Jesus, my Savior. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for the breath in our lungs and the beats in our hearts. We pray for passion to raise up the next generation according to your ways. May you show us how to teach them, what to teach them, and help them to understand. Whether we are raising our children or influencing others around us, we pray that we are aware of how much influence we truly have to raise a healthy generation. We pray that spouses would respect and love each other, being a good example for all to see. We ask that you help us in Jesus' name, amen. Jesus, I choose you as Lord of my life, my entire life. I do not want to withhold anything from you. Forgive me for anything I have exalted above you. Holy Spirit, help me to crucify anything which separates me from God's best. My desire is to cooperate with you, that Christ may live in me. Heavenly Father, help me to run a good race that you may be pleased, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I come to you today with faith so small I cannot see a way. I want to believe you are able to do more than I ever imagined. I want to walk by faith and not by sight. God, please bring a miracle into my life. I know that you can do the impossible in my life, and I am trusting in your promises right now. Thank you for being a God who sees and hears my every need. In Jesus' name, amen. Dear God, as the sun rises, I lift my heart to you in gratitude. Thank you for a new day filled with opportunities. May your light guide my steps and your love illuminate my path. Bless my endeavors and grant me strength to face challenges. In your presence, I find peace. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for everything that happened last week, the good and the bad. I understand that challenges test my faith. Please help me be strong in my beliefs. I ask for your guidance and strength in the coming week, so I can face any difficulties with courage. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. God, I pray that we will not believe the lies of the enemy that tickle our ears and make us feel good, whispering that we are better than others and must be proud. Lies that separate us from people we love and people we know. You had given us the truth from your word, O God, to protect us from the lies of the enemy. So I pray that we will put on the belt of truth wherever we are, whatever we are doing, and whoever we are talking with. I pray that we will strengthen our core with your powerful words so that we will not trip over Satan's schemes. The Belt of Truth Help us, God, to seek the truth from your written words rather than scrolling on social media or listening to the news that only tells half the truth. Give us ears to hear your voice and eyes to see the truth. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, God. I find my mind filling up with anger and resentment toward my neighbor. He keeps telling me how well he's doing, even though he knows I'm between jobs and that we are struggling. It's like he's rubbing my nose in it so he can show me he's better than me. He makes it a point to come over to me when I'm out in the yard and make sure I hear every detail about the latest thing he's bought or how well he's doing in his job. The whole time I am boiling with anger. I replay those situations for days afterward, fueling my disappointment in myself and my rage toward him. I can't stand that I have to live next door to him now. I wish I could move, but I can't because I'm stuck here. I need help from the Lord, and I need God's size help. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Lord, each day I struggle with different temptations. I praise you that daily you supply warnings for me and continue to pursue me to live a holy life and not one filled with temptations. Allow me to choose wisdom and not foolishness. Help me to seek the light and not play in the darkness. Satan intends to steal, kill, and destroy us. But you give limitless mercy, abounding grace, and abundant life. Help me to turn to you, the one who defeated all the devil's temptations. I need you daily. I need the gospel truth daily. Please help me with the temptations that I will face. In Jesus' name, amen. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Heavenly Father, I call on you right now in a special way. It is through your power that I was created. Every breath I take, every morning I wake, and every moment of every hour I live under your power. Father, I ask you now to touch me with that same power. For if you created me from nothing, you can certainly recreate me. Fill me with the healing power of your Spirit. Cast out anything that should not be in me. Mend what is broken. Root out any unproductive cells. Open any blocked R or veins and rebuild any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection. Let the warmth of your healing love pass through my body to make new, unhealthy areas so that my body will function the way you created it to function. And Father, restore me to full health in mind and body, so that I may serve you the rest of my life. Father, the burden of physical pain weighs heavily upon me, and I seek your divine grace to bring relief and restoration to my body. You know the depths of my suffering and the extent of my distress. The constant ache and discomfort make every day a challenge, and I yearn for your divine intervention. Lord, you know me inside out, and you understand the depths of my struggle. It feels like I can't catch a break, and I'm desperate for relief. I remember the times when I felt healthy and strong, and I long to experience that again. Please, Father, grant me the strength to endure this trial with faith and courage. When the pain becomes too much to bear, Help me to find solace in your presence and comfort in your love. I'm putting my trust in your healing power, believing that you have the ability to restore me to health. I confess my weakness and surrender to your will, knowing that your plans are far greater than mine. In the midst of this pain, I pray for moments of peace that surpass all understanding. 
May your gentle touch calm the storm within me and bring serenity to my weary soul. You have been my refuge in the past, and I believe you are with me even now. Please guide the hands of those caring for me, leading them to the right decisions for my healing. Amen. Father God, I recognize the financial challenges I face and seek your guidance and motivation to overcome the burden of debt. Grant me the strength to face this journey with determination, knowing that through your wisdom, all things are possible. Lord, as I navigate the path to financial freedom, instill in me the discipline to make wise choices and the perseverance to stick to a plan. Help me develop a spirit of contentment, appreciating the resources you've provided and managing them responsibly. Guide my steps, Lord, as I work towards clearing the debts that weigh heavily on me. Grant me discernment in financial decisions and open doors of opportunity for increased income and prudent financial management. In moments of discouragement, Remind me that I am not alone on this journey. Let your peace fill my heart, reassuring me that, with your help, I can overcome the challenges of debt. May my motivation to become debt-free be rooted in a desire to honor you, to be a good steward of the resources you've entrusted to me, and to be free to contribute more generously to the needs of others. Lord. I surrender my financial worries to you, trusting in your provision and guidance. Grant me the wisdom to create and follow a realistic plan and bless the work of my hands as I seek to eliminate the burden of debt. Amen. Dear Father God, I thank you for waking me up today, another day of life. You have given me another sunrise to enjoy. Thank you, Lord God for the wonderful sounds of nature and the cool breeze brushing through the trees, making the birds sing beautiful melodies. You are a great Father, Lord, always full of grace and mercy. I praise you, Father, for allowing me to live another beautiful day in your kingdom. Thank you for the gift of family and friends. Holding them in my heart is one of the most precious things I can never get tired of. Bless everyone, Father for they deserve all the goodness you have given to me. If I may do something wrong today, please forgive me. I also thank you for always being the reason in my head when it comes to decision-making. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the powerful and healing name of Jesus, I come before you, seeking relief from the pain in my body. You know the exact cause of this discomfort, and I believe in your sovereign power to heal me. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, healing every disease and sickness. Matthew 9.35 Let this truth resonate within me, as I ask for your healing hand to touch me now, bringing instant relief to my pain. I rebuke this discomfort in the name of Jesus, and declare your healing over every part of my body. Fill me with your peace and strength, and let your healing power flow through me. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and love. I trust in your will and your timing, believing that I receive your healing, now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord in heaven, every venture we try to start ends up collapsing. We pray and destroy all curses and plans against prosperity in this family. We pave the way for spiritual and physical blessings in this family. Let every step we take in this family result in blessings and prosperity. Let all who plot evil and disgrace for us fall into their own traps. Let prosperity be our food and water each day. We break all evil ties with poverty, decline, and disgrace. We accept pride and adoration into this family. We close doors to all evil plans concerning this family in Jesus' name. Amen.
There is no such thing as a private life or a place to hide in this world for a man or woman who is intimately aware of and shares in the sufferings of Jesus Christ. God divides the private life of his saints and makes it a highway for the world on one hand and for himself on the other. No human being can stand that unless he is identified with Jesus Christ. We are not sanctified for ourselves. We are called into intimacy with the gospel, and things happen that appear to have nothing to do with us. But God is getting us into fellowship with himself. Let him have his way. If you refuse, you will be of no value to God in His redemptive work in the world, but will be a hindrance and a stumbling block. The first thing God does is get us grounded on strong reality and truth. He does this until our cares for ourselves have been brought into submission to His way for the purpose of His redemption. Why shouldn't we experience heartbreak? Through those doorways, God is opening up ways of fellowship with His Son. Most of us collapse at the first grip of pain. We sit down at the door of God's purpose and enter a slow death through self-pity. And all the so-called Christian sympathy of others helps us to our deathbed. But God will not. He comes with the grip of the pierced hand of His Son, as if to say, Enter into fellowship with me. Arise and shine. If God can accomplish His purposes in this world through a broken heart, then why not thank Him for breaking yours? Has it ever dawned on you that you are responsible spiritually to God for other people? For instance, if I allow any turning away from God in my private life, everyone around me suffers. We sit together in the heavenly places. Ephesians 2.6 if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. 1 Corinthians 12, 26. If you allow physical selfishness, mental carelessness, moral insensitivity, or spiritual weakness, everyone in contact with you will suffer. But you ask, who is sufficient to be able to live up to such a lofty standard? Our sufficiency is from God, and God alone. Seteta Corinthians 3.5 You shall be witnesses to me. Acts 1.8 How many of us are willing to spend every bit of our nervous, mental, moral, and spiritual energy for Jesus Christ? That is what God means when He uses the word witness. But it takes time, so be patient with yourself. Why has God left us on the earth? Is it simply to be saved and sanctified? No. It is to be at work in service to Him. Am I willing to be broken bread and poured out wine for Him? Am I willing to be of no value to this age or this life except for one purpose and one alone to be used to disciple men and women to the Lord Jesus Christ? My life of service to God is the way I say thank you to Him for His inexpressibly wonderful salvation. Remember, it is quite possible for God to set any of us aside if we refuse to be of service to Him, lest, when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. 1 Corinthians 9.27 Subscribe to our channel to help us reach 2,000 subscribers. Share this video to your loved ones. Donate us. Super thanks to support us. Type Amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.